unlimited cloud storage? Sounds too good to be true? Well, in some cases it is, and the unlimited comes with a big old asterisk next to it. Today, I'm going to look at which clouds truly offer unlimited storage with zero artificial restrictions and which are just trying to lure you into their monthly plans. I make a lot of video content and have a remote team of around 80 people. To say our cloud storage space fills up quickly would be a total understatement. So I'm constantly on the lookout for services that offer unlimited storage. Good news, I've found five options ranging from decent to excellent. Of course, there are more than five services out there, but they need to offer more than unlimited storage space. The services in this video provide some combination of good security, easy to use software and affordable pricing. I'm going to break each of them down and share the best towards the end of the video. So definitely make sure to stick around for that. Kicking things off, I'm going to show you Yotta Cloud, the first unlimited cloud storage space with an asterisk. Yotta Cloud has really grown on me over the years. It's a Norwegian based company, which is good news for privacy buffs like me and many of you. I'll add that as well as traditional cloud storage. Yotta Cloud can also serve as an online backup solution. I'll start with its unlimited storage plan. It's well priced and costs $99 per year. You can pay month to month too, but the price is $9.90. So it will cost a little more over the course of 12 months. The design is certainly the most in tune with modern standards. It's minimal and clean. And I really like looking at my files on this platform. And speaking of looking at files, Yotta Cloud is good if you upload photos as you can also make cool photo albums. It didn't quite make my selection of the best cloud storage for photos. Take a look at the video above to, to really see um, what and which services did. Yara Cloud isn't as good at tackling privacy as some of the other options I'll get to later. There is no zero knowledge encryption. So in theory, the company could scrape your data. That said, there is some good news on the privacy front true, and that's Yotta Cloud's location. Being in Norway and having to beat to the drum of GDPR, the user has plenty of control over their privacy. It just requires you to be proactive to ensure your data is being managed exactly how you want. Speedwise, Yona Cloud certainly performs well. I got my files uploaded in around nine minutes and I downloaded them in just short of eight minutes. We've tested a lot of products and have a ton of data on each of them. In our experience, Yotta Cloud had very low CPU usage for both uploads and downloads. Now about that asterisk. It's worth knowing that Yotta Cloud throttles speeds for users with more than five terabytes uploaded to the cloud. Essentially, this means performance will slow down, making your uploads and downloads take longer. But Yotta Cloud doesn't say by how much. So it's not really unlimited in my book. Overall, I like Yotta Cloud. I'd say if you're a basic user and just want a simple space to back up a lot of files, then this one uh, isn't a bad choice at all. Open Drive is another unlimited cloud storage option with an asterisk. Unlimited storage costs only $99 per year, which works out to $8.25 per month. And that's only fractionally more expensive than many two terabyte plans in the cloud storage space, including Google Drive and Dropbox. Open Drive also offers a zero knowledge encryption folder for your files. So this means any files you upload outside of the folder won't have the same level of encryption. So keep that in mind. And for any files you add to the folder, they will also be password protected. You and only you can access that password. So hey, try not to lose it. I'm sorry to say it's not all glowing news with Open Drive. If you like good design, this isn't going to do it for you. Although navigation is easy enough, the user interface looks um, fresh from the early 2000s. The platform isn't fast either. Honestly, it has rather poor upload and download speeds. It took me around an average of 13 minutes to upload a five gigabyte folder. Downloads were better, taking just over seven minutes. And if speed is important, don't worry, I have faster options coming up. I should also mention an important factor about one uh, Open Drive's upload speeds. Like Yotta Cloud, Open Drive also imposes restrictions 
on its unlimited storage. OpenDrive slows down upload speeds for personal users using more than 10 terabyte of storage space and 20 terabytes for business users. OpenDrive explains this by saying it's not intentionally built for power users like anyone working with lots of video, but then why market it as unlimited storage? But hey, if you don't mind slow uploads after the first 10 terabyte, OpenDrive is an affordable solution worth looking into. Backblaze is next up, and it's the first truly unlimited option out there. I've got to say, it's not the most user-friendly option for cloud storage, and that's because it serves mainly as an online backup solution. I, could, I would even go as far as to say it's not really a cloud storage solution. That means the usual bells and whistles like sync folders and advanced sharing, they're, they're, just, they're just not there because, well, it's backup. On a two-year subscription, you can grab unloaded storage for just under $8 per month, and that's an upfront payment of just $189 for two whole years of unlimited backup, which is pretty awesome in my book. Now, the design of Backblaze is nice enough. It's a little more for the IT crowd than it's for fans of modern design. But like I said, it does the job. You can share your files too by creating shared links, just like you would with any other service. But it's really all a bit clunky. When it comes to speed, I have bad news and, well, average news. Uploads took on average 17 minutes to complete. That's even slower than OpenDrive. And downloads were much better, taking just seven and a half minutes. Thankfully, unlike other options, Backblaze doesn't artificially lower your speeds once you hit a certain backup size. That's why I'm marking this as the first service that offers truly unlimited storage. Backblaze aims to offer zero-knowledge encryption, but with a slight asterisk. The company handles the file restore process. This means if you want to restore your files, you have to give up your privacy key so Backblaze can decrypt your data. You'll need to make a new encryption key afterwards to restore zero-knowledge encryption. Look, if you want a great online backup solution, Backblaze is one of the best. And getting unlimited storage for that cost, well, it's hard not to recommend it as one of the best options. Box for Business is my number two pick for unlimited cloud storage. Now, the elephant in the room is that there are no personal plans with unlimited storage space, but let's look at the business options. There are three business plan options and all of them offer unlimited storage. However, there is a caveat once again. You can only upload one terabyte of files per month. Unlike OpenDrive and Yoda Cloud, the performance isn't impacted when you have a certain amount in the cloud. But yeah, once you hit one terabyte for the month, you're gonna have to wait until the next one to start uploading again. Not ideal, but I doubt this will impact most users unless obviously you are a video producer like me who needs to upload a lot of files. So I don't like this at all. You'll need a minimum of three users, no matter which of the unlimited plans you select, and you have the option of paying monthly or yearly. In total, the entry plan will cost you 540 per year for three users, which goes up to 1,260 per year for the top tier plan. And there's also a 14 day trial, by the way, so you can give it a go and see if that solution works for you. We love getting stuck into some hands-on testing here at CloudWords, it helps really see what a service is all about. I can report when it comes to Box, things are really positive. Although it doesn't do anything flashy, it gets the basics right, and that can make all the difference. The platform has a clean user interface, and the best part is it's really easy to navigate. Box has its own app store, which allows you to integrate with plenty of useful tools. And we counted over 1,500 options with the highlights being Google Workspace and Office 365, perfect for businesses looking for productivity and collaboration tools. And you can also launch Zoom meetings and share your business files from your box cloud storage directly to Slack. Personally, I find this very useful and um, for businesses, a very good practical application. Now, when it comes to performance, I'm happy to say Box has very good results. We get our files uploaded in around eight minutes on average and we downloaded them in exactly eight minutes as well. So yeah, Box isn't quite the fastest cloud storage around, but it's still very fast. Privacy wise, you can get zero knowledge encryption which is good news, right? Well, the bad news is it's only available on the Business Plus and Enterprise plans. Starter and Business Standard users will have to do without it. Ah, don't you just love companies trying to bleed as much money out of you as you can? 
Well, well, well. I get that box may seem a little pricey at first glance, but if you've got a bigger budget or you can find two others to split the bill with, it's definitely the option to go for. Especially as it's fast, full of features, and of course offers unlimited storage. Also, with its additional features like Dropbox Sign, it might even replace other software apps in your business so you can shave off a little bit of those monthly software as a service costs. Now, I am going to share with you the best unlimited cloud storage service, but before I do, I need a favor. If you please like the content, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the like and the bell. That really helps us grow the channel. Now, on to my best solution. For the best unlimited cloud storage, I've picked, drum roll please, Sync.com. Now, Sync.com has several plans, but only offers unlimited storage on its Teams Plus plan. It's truly unlimited storage though, with no limits imposed, no matter how much you use it, and that's, that makes it the only proper cloud storage solution we've found to do so. So no asterisk, no caveats, just pure, simply what it promises to do unlimited storage. It costs 180 per year, which comes to $15 per month per user, making it nearly double the cost of OpenDrive. You also need a minimum of two users, so right out of the gate, you'll pay 360 for the year. But if you ask me, you're getting a much better platform. The design of the user interface is certainly better as it offers a more updated look and feel, and Sync.com also has zero knowledge encryption. But instead of offering a single folder, it protects all your files that you upload to the platform. And you don't have to pay more outside of your subscription fee. Now, upload speeds are slightly quicker than some of the slower performers, but I must be honest, they're still pretty mediocre. We got our folder in the cloud at an average of like 10 minutes and 22 seconds. Download speeds wasn't great, coming in at just over 15 minutes. But if you'd rather test it out yourself and not just take my word for it, Sync.com's unlimited plan has a, a free 30-day trial on top of the regular five gigabytes free account for individuals. So you can play around with it, do your own tests, and then make a decision if it's worth your money. So those are my favorites. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. I've dropped some links down in the description too, so you can learn more about each service I've talked about and grab some special links with unique discounts to cloudwords.net viewers. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I next upload a video. See you until next time.